Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's start with the positive news today. I know the still the PM Book 7 is not yet published, but the rumor says the PMI gives ample of hints that we will end up with a much thinner version of PM Book this time. If you have read, if you have seen the PM Book version 6, the edition 6, it was more than 750 pages. However, the good news is now we can expect the new PM Book 7 to be around 250 pages. That's an amazing news because you have very less reading to be done with PM Book 7. So with that good news, uh, we are going to move to our topic today that is performance domains. The PMI says a project performance domain is defined as a group of related activities that are critical for the effective delivery of the project outcomes. Okay, so these performance domains are interdependent and overlapping. If you watch my previous video, we discussed about 12 project delivery principles, which shapes your behavior and actions towards a project. In this, the eight project management performance domains are areas of focus on the project. So some of them are split or combined from the previous version. So namely, the eight performance domains are the stakeholder, the team, development approach and life cycle, planning, project work, delivery, measurement, final one is the uncertainty. So before we go into more in detail into each performance domains, performance domains focus on outcomes, not outputs. If you recall the PMBOX 6th edition, we were discussing about the processes and the outputs, not the outcomes. First to start up with the stakeholder performance domain. This is all about uh, strategies and actions to promote productive involvement of stakeholders in project decision making and implementation. So outcome is a good relationship with the project stakeholders. Output from the previous, the PMBOX 6 version about stakeholders stakeholder register and stakeholder engagement plan so there's a clear difference between outcome and outputs and then the team uh, this includes uh, fostering team development encouraging leadership behaviors from all project team members and sharing ownership for the outcomes so this is all about the outcome is all about high performance team outputs from the previous specifically from resources is team charter and team assessment and then uh, the life cycle performance domain this is about selecting the best approach with the nature of your project so uh, the outcome is uh, selecting the cycles the paces and uh, the development approach appropriate to the project i keep the outputs from the pm boxes for your uh, homework try to comment what do you think that uh, the outputs from pm box 6 under life cycle approach with that the planning planning address the activities and functions associated with the initial ongoing and evolving organization and coordination necessary for delivering the project deliverables and outcomes so application suitable amount of planning at the correct time is the key out outcomes output from uh, pm box is all about the sub plans that you all worked in and with that the project work performance domain address activities and functions associated with the establishing project processes managing physical resources and fostering the learning environment the outcomes is making sure um, enabling the team to deliver so if you recall the output from pm box 6 is all about the project reports with that we move to the next one delivery performance domain it's all about addressing the activities functions associated with the delivering the scope and the quality that the project was undertaken to achieve so delivering the value of the project is the main out outcome the outputs in the previous pm boxes is all about the deliverables which you hand over to the customer with that we move to the next one the measurements address the activities and functions associated with the assessing the project performance and taking appropriate actions to maintain the acceptable performance levels. So outcomes is tracking project performance to make sure they are intact with the project goals. If you recall from PM box 6, it's all about the quality measurements, 
we measure the performance uh, with the quality against the quality the final one the uncertainty you also can call it the risk the adverse activities and functions associated with the risk and the uncertainty so outcomes is all about analyzing of the project environment to anticipate to take risk and also to take advantages of the opportunities so if you recall from the pm box 6 the output from the risk was risk report and the risk register those are the two key outputs guys once again uh, do not forget that uh, these performance domains are interdependent and overlap and influence the others so there's a very fluid process going on with each of these domains so for example we'll take three the planning the delivery and life cycle they're very fluid in between they are interdependent on the each other the next important topic in PM book 7 is tailoring I'll be doing another video separately for tailoring because tailoring is a vast area I need to have more discussion on that so Stay tuned for my next video but in this video i'll be discussing about models methods and artifacts which is the third area in the new pm book version 7. so let's get into more detail first we'll discuss about the models models is all about small scale simplified version of the reality so the leadership models the communication model the change management model or oh, uh, the risk response model you can create various models how you will be performing your project in the execution stages with that we move methods methods are means of achieving an outcome output or results so the way that you are reaching for outcome is all all about dealing with your data in the project so gathering data and analyzing data is a part of methods so the make or buy analysis the forecast uh, forecasting cost or the schedule are very good example for methods and then the final one the artifacts uh, the templates documents outputs or the deliverables are artifacts and the business case the logs the risk register the, all the plans are very good examples for artifacts so guys with that i'm going to wrap up my video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like the content and next video is about tailoring very important area in the pm box 7 share my video and the thumbs up if you like the content thank you all the very best mr exams